we're tracking is just off to the west of us and we see some cloud cover just coming across Lake Erie. We are having a lot of dry air into the eastern part of Ohio, western part of Pennsylvania, and that's what keeping those clouds just kind of as they dissipate into our area. Now that's going to continue over the next couple of days because there's a lot of more moisture and clouds behind the system. We look at Wisconsin just getting drenched as well as Chicago today. That's starting to that's going to be making its way into our area come Saturday. But again, that dry air is going to stick over us and going to make it very difficult for us to see rain, though. That's why we have just a 20% chance. Just a light sprinkle might make it into our area. Nothing that's going to affect anybody's Saturday plans, though. We see dew points still in the upper 50s, a little bit on the sticky side, but more pleasant than we've seen what we've seen this summer. Now, also what we're tracking is summer like temperatures. We see throughout the valley still holding into the mid to low 80s, cooled off just a little bit. Hubbard dropping down to the mid 80s from 87 earlier. Mesopotamia still holding into the upper 70s. The rest of us, well, we're going to follow suit, especially as the sun sets. Now, what I'm tracking in the next couple of days, we see the temperatures. We're going to feel like summer for Thursday, Friday. Friday, but as we get into the weekend, look at this huge drop. Now this huge drop makes us go for our highs into the mid 70s. That will continue out throughout the day. We're looking at a little bump on Monday, but then we continue fall like temperatures. Now we'll talk about that in future tracker coming up in a second of why we're going to see that huge drop future tracker. We're seeing tonight's temperatures dipping down into the mid 50s throughout the valley. Still, we're looking a little warmer to the south in Columbiana County but only by a little bit. We're looking at the upper 50s forecast for tonight. We're looking at tonight's forecast just around 56 degrees, mainly clear skies. Now tomorrow we're going to be warming back up into the 80s. We saw in just a second ago on our seven day trend. We see again 86 for our high right in Warren 86 as well in Youngstown tomorrow. We're giving it on an average right around 84 degrees, mostly sunny skies, and that will continue. Now I want to show the wide view of future tracker. We're going to start it for you just on Friday. I want you to pay particularly close attention to this churning moisture back here over Denver. We see this line of showers and storms start to develop. Now this is where the variability comes in for Monday and Tuesday showers. This line of storms that's going to be making its way into the valley, though the timing of it is still pretty uncertain. That's why we have on Monday and Tuesday we're are we are keeping a 30% chance of showers on Monday. We are keeping a 30% showers on Tuesday. Now the timing of that front, which is why we're seeing some cooler temperatures come in, is coming in Monday night. Now that could be pushed back a little bit, but we are seeing just kind of that slight variability. Now for the rest of it, we are confident that we are going to see summer like temperatures for Thursday and Friday and then some cooler temperatures for our weekend. So if you like cooler temperatures and fall like weather, you're absolutely going to love this weekend. Dave.